In this video, I'm going to talk about quantity demand and quantity supplied. I'm going to add the demand and supply curves. The purple is the market quantity and the market price. It's actually unit price and per unit of time, but usually economists drop those. Let me get rid of everything. So I'm just going to talk about the demand curve, and I'm going to redraw the demand curve like that. And here we go. The quantity demanded is along the x-axis. We read that along the x-axis. So if price was 45, quantity demanded would be 1, like that. Now if price drops to 30, quantity demanded is 4, like that right there. And one more time, we'll do it again at, let's say, the price is 5. Let me just slide that over to the left a little bit. Sling it over. The quantity demanded is 9. So what we begin to see is prices and quantity demanded move in opposite directions, and we'd say they're inversely related. Prices fall, go ahead and fall. What we see is quantity demanded goes up, and if prices are high, quantity demanded goes low. It's kind of fast, but you get the message. Now I'm talking about supply, and we get rid of that demand there. So if now quantity supply is read along the x-axis. So if price was 40, suppliers would be willing to supply 8 units, or quantity supplied would be 8. If the price is 20, suppliers would be willing to supply less, and quantity supplied would only be 4 in this case. So what we say prices and quantity supplied move in the same direction, and the relationship is direct. Market equilibrium, in this case, the price is 25, and quantity demanded and quantity supplied is 5. Right there is market equilibrium. Quantity demanded is 5, and quantity supplied is 5. So quantity demanded equals quantity supplied, and that's market equilibrium by definition. So if suppliers want to charge 40 uh, per unit, the price would be there, and the quantity supplied would be 8. So suppliers would want to supply 8. The problem is, at that price of 40, the quantity demanded is only going to be 2 units. Right there. So quantity demanded will be 2 at 40. And there's going to be a surplus. And that red area shows a surplus, and the surplus is going to be 6, which is 8 minus 2. Prices are above market price, there's always going to be a surplus. Now let's see what happens if the prices are below market. So let's say 15. So at 15, the quantity supplied will be 3, right there. And the quantity demanded will be, at price of 15, the quantity demanded will be, um, 7 right there. So now quantity demanded is greater than quantity supplied, so there's a shortage of 4. 7 minus uh, 3 is 4. So what begins to happen is if prices are set too low, you have a shortage. And that's that. 